So the, the question of consumer generated content is in my mind one of the really fascinating social phenomena that exists today. That if you talk to people in major media companies, until the last few months, they would have said to you that, that consumer generated content, whether it was blogs or uh, video or music or whatever, that that was just a passing thing. That the real enchilada would be when Hollywood movies and television shows and, and produced music were all made available on the web and that that would be the main course and that the user generated stuff would be the appetizer. And I think the thing that they missed and that is fundamental is that people have a creative side that technology currently empowers. And they, there is a whole generation of people expressing that. And interestingly enough, it cuts across generations. People express it lots of different ways. And I think that's an amazing thing and will have a long-term profound impact on the media and entertainment business. And I don't know exactly what that's going to look like, but the amount of time I personally spend on YouTube boggles my mind, right? If you sit there and just look at the amount of time I spend on the web and what over the last, whatever it is, nine months, YouTube or 12 months, that YouTube's gone from not existing in my life to being, you know, one of the places that I visit most. And I go there for a lot of different things. I go there to watch Keith Olbermann's uh, essays. I go there to look at pictures of baby pandas playing in the, in the panda kindergarten in China. Uh, you know, they're just very interesting things that you can't find anywhere else. And some of it is educational, some of it is entertainment. And, you know, I, I play in a rock band. You know, we make music available over the web. And, you know, all of that is, is important. And to my mind, the notion that we might have a generation of people who view themselves as creators rather than consumers of media, I find incredibly exciting. I have no idea what it's going to mean. But I, I, I just think it's important, and it's one of those things that, you know, I don't know that there's necessarily a business to be made around it, and I don't care. I just think it's cool. And if I can do something to make it better, that would be great. You know, I think one of the things that YouTube lacks, right, if I were a young engineering student today, and if I really understood search, I would apply it to things like video, where today, you know, people have metadata, four, five, six words to describe the thing. But we can do better than that. And, you know, the searching of video today is an incredibly clumsy thing. And, uh, you know, in fact, search in general. I mean, index search people have got pretty well, but there are a million other things that we all need that index search is grossly inadequate for. And uh, um, I just think it's going to be really an exciting. This is a great time to be, to be looking at the world. And, you know, I happen to pick a media lens, but, you know, you could, you could do exactly the same thing I'm doing and call it a lot of things. And, uh, you know, just it happens investors like to see things in a compartment. And so that's why we're structured the way we are.